Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm back. I took a week's break just to kind of like clear my head and get some inspiration back because I've been in such a creative rut. But um, I've got some like new equipment. I have a ring light now. Um, I have a MacBook now. I got some new makeup and like creative juices are just flowing right now. So what better way to start the week with a sick look so I did this look here I recently just got the sultry palette along with um, some glitter from Anastasia this is in the shade party so I wanted to go ahead and do a look with it I also used another ABH palette which is the artist palette this is what it looks like here so yeah that's what we're gonna do if you're new to my channel please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button before leaving give this video a thumbs up if you happen to enjoy it Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you liked about the video. If you have these palettes, do you like them? Or if you have any suggestions on looks that you would like. So yeah. If you guys want to see how I got this look here. This is, oh, I'm so obsessed with this look. Then stay tuned and keep on watching. Alright you guys. So we're going to start with the P. Louise Base in the shade 3. I just got shade 3, so um, I wanted to try it out and see how good of a match it was, and definitely was a good match. So I'm cleaning up my brows, and I did my brows off camera. I used the ABH Brow Wiz in Medium Brown to do my, to do my brows. Um, so I'm just pretty much using this to clean them up on the bottom, and then set the base in place and I am using my Morphe M224 brush. So after the little dance session, I am going to go ahead and take the Sultry Palette by ABH. I'm so excited that I have this palette. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to just create so many more looks. Um, but I went ahead and took that pink shade in the palette. Whew, excuse me, it's pretty late. Okay, so I'm going to take the pink shade that's in the palette and I'm going to pretty much put that into the crease. And... I am taking, I believe this is the Morphe M562 brush, and I pretty much um, just use that blending brush to one pack on the shade and slightly blend it and just create the shape that I want before I go in with the second shade. step is we're gonna go into the artist palette this is a really old palette um, but it has some really fun amazing colors in it so I went ahead and I took the yellow 
um, from that palette and the brush that I'm using is from Kid Stars um, I just don't remember the number so yeah went ahead and used that and started to blend it um, blend the edges of that first shade from the Sochi palette and I am blending this up to the brows just gonna have to deal with it I know some people don't like it but it is what it is okay so now what I am gonna do I'm gonna take another P. Louise base you guys know I love my bases and I am taking vivid purple I think that's what it's called um but the purple base I'm just taking that it's like a lavender shade and I'm using that to cut the crease so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the crease um, and then I'm gonna set it with a shadow and then I'm gonna cut it again it's kind of similar to what I did in one of my other looks I wanted to do something similar um, but not too similar um, but yeah I'm just rambling right now so I'm pretty much just taking my sweet sweet time um, this brush is an, a lip brush um, I believe it is from Morphe I just don't remember the number um, so yeah, I'm just using that because it is smaller. Um, there are times when I am doing like a detailed cut. I like to use a smaller base rather than a my normal size base. I mean, a smaller base, a smaller brush rather than my normal size brush. You guys, I am so stupid. Oh my gosh. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then from the artist palette again. I'm taking that purple shade. It does have some shimmer on it. Um, but that didn't bother me because I was going to put glitter on the lid anyway. So yeah. So I'm just going to pretty much go ahead and set that purple. And then I end up cleaning, it, cleaning the lid off um, just a little bit. So that I didn't have like too much caked up base going on my lids. Which would make the glitter and everything really really crumbly so yeah you guys are not gonna see that part but that's what I do so I'm just gonna do that and then you guys are gonna see that I'm gonna take the shade 3 base again and then I'm gonna cut the crease again guys I'm gonna take the navy shade that is in the palette and I take like a small smudger brush this brush I think is from coastal sense if I'm not mistaken it's either coastal sense or elf um, but I take that small smudger brush and I'm gonna do like a small wing literally only on the outer corner and then I'm gonna blend it ever so slightly into the lid but i'm leaving like a negative space because of how i'm gonna want to put the glitter and just to get more precision i do take um an angled brush um like a liner brush just to get it a lot sharper so you guys are gonna see that okay so now it's glitter time 
and I use my Lit Cosmetics glitter glue. I always use that glue to apply any type of glitter. And the glitter that I'm using is from ABH. It's the shade Party. I seen swatches of it and I was just in love and I was like, I have to get it. So I'm so, 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 so happy that I got it. And this is my first time ever trying their glitters. And to be honest, I really, 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 really like it. Like, I've been experiencing with glitter for a little bit now. And I've been trying, like, different brands that sell glitters. And, you know, I have I have my favorite companies. Um, they are, like, small indie brands. But to see, you know, like, ABH come out with the actual glitter. And it's, it's like, perfect. Like, it's not too finely milled. Um, but it's not chunky. It's like the perfect consistency of a glitter, which I really, really do like. And I like the fact that it does have like a nice mix of a reflex in it because um, there are certain parts of the glitter like that was on my eye that it kind of was like a little bit of a pink shift, which I like. I like. I just like the mix of it. It's it's super 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 cute. Um, so yeah, I do my face off camera, you guys. The lashes that I did put on were from Unicorn Lashes. Um, I'll leave the name down below and I'll leave everything that I use on my face as well down below. You guys already seen me do my face a million times, so I don't feel the need to have to do it over and over and over. Um, but as you guys see here, I'm just putting Amrizy highlighter on because it's like my favorite she be having me blinding and then I'm gonna do the lips the lips I use a NYX lip liner I don't know the name and two liquid linen lipsticks from Beach Cosmetics one is called Karen and the other one's Stephanie so yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I feel like I was just talking a little bit too much for this voiceover but I'm so happy to be back you guys like I'm super super happy and I'm gonna be like giving you guys really fun and creative looks because that's just I don't know neutral looks is not doing it for me anymore and I'm gonna try my hardest you know to give people what they want because I know not all of my followers like these bold fun colorful looks because they can't wear them out I will wear this out but that's just me I know not everybody is like that but yeah so I'm gonna try my hardest to give everybody exactly what they want but for me because it's the type of content that i like i am going to be doing more fun creative looks so that's it subscribe comment like share all of the above follow me on my socials and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video